All right, I'm the officer, he's on something. I don't want to bother him, right? I'm just filming a tire. I wasn't sure. You don't approach the police. Like, why is he approaching me? Why? So I'm this part too. So anyway, he might be coming back, right? And anyway, um, I'll see if he comes talk to me, right? I'm going to actually go ask him a question if I need to. Because he asked, asked me if I need to go there. All right. He may be coming over here. But anyway, so um, so he'd been drinking, right? Puking. He just got a puking. And... Uh, Get in the vehicle, my mom and dad are driving. It's about 10 30 or about I can't remember, right? They need to stay out that late. Wait. So they're there, right? And then uh so and I hadn't drank that much, so I mean, God Trash, you want to give me you just puked or something. My parents are gonna know me. Your eyes are shot, so be quiet when you get in the car. Because they pulled up there to give us right home. He said, Hey Kirk, what are you and Travis doing? You're walking home. I said, We're walking home, right? And um, so anyway. So um, so I'm watching this police officer, and I'm, it's, it's, he's doing his job, so I'm gonna leave him alone. But anyway, so anyway, <laughs> Travis, it's about a half a quarter mile down this dirt road, right? Didn't say a word. Hey, have a good night, Travis. Thank you, good night, right? Drive home. Parents don't say anything. I'm like being quiet myself. Yeah, next morning, wake up on a Saturday. Yeah, mom and dad. Dad has to go to work. He said, uh, so you and Travis had a good time last night, huh? I'm like, yeah, Dad, why? Well, we just thought, it's kind of weird how Travis kind of sick. My dad, you know, he knew how to grind it. He's like, he was, he's not stupid either. He's like, man, did he eat something bad, Kirk? And I'm like, well, I don't, yeah, he did, Dad. Yeah, he said something bothered his stomach, you know, that he was puking because he said, we, we, we pulled up, we just saw his, you know, he like got done puking or something. He said, yeah, we must have ate some bad fast food or something downtown or something. Yeah, you know, kids don't, you can't lie through parents. And he's like, oh, well, I thought maybe you guys have been drinking or something. You didn't drink, did you? I'm, oh, well, we're underage. And dad's going to just destroy me if I say the truth. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? And I said, well, I think again, I said, well, dad. Hmm. I said some older guys. <laughs> it was a lie. Because we found on our own the bear. I can't remember how we got it. Somebody obviously older bought it, but we don't know who bought it. I think we just paid somebody we found. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, we had one or two. You know, these older guys gave us the bear, and we thought it was cool. And then we realized it wasn't cool, and that's why we walked home. We didn't ask him for a ride. And that's why we were walking, because Travis drank too damn much. I said they made him drink a little bit more than I thought. So we didn't know, Dad. Then my dad does it. Okay. Well, Kirk, instead of grounding me, make me feel, I already knew I'd made a mistake. And he said this thing he read that he knew I made a mistake. He's like, I mean, my parents are awesome. And he's like, well, don't do it again. I said, why don't you use a, you know, you're not old enough, Kirk. Yeah, it's true, Dad. So anyway, all right. Well, that's a true story. Anyway, um, I'm going to ask this officer if he's looking for a lady. Hey, sir, I know you're busy. There, were you looking for a lady? It's none of my business. There's a lady who came walking through here just about five, uh, about 30 seconds before you came through, sir. I'm not trying to be a snitch, but I know if she's in trouble, we need help. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be a snitch on her. It's none of my business. It's between you. She came, she's, uh, she had on some uh, glitter or something, and I'm not trying to get her in trouble or anything like that. You're trying to do your job. I want your first job, but I saw her come through here, and I'm unsure, just trying to help you out if you're looking for. Her. I'm not. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. No be safe. All right. All right. Thank I got a flat tire. I know. I mean, I did. It was actually flat down there. I didn't want to wake up the residents there, so I thought this would be a quieter, safer spot. So it's yeah, it's okay. Yeah, because you know, so I moved down here because I'm filling up right now. I, I got the green slime and stuff like that. I completely flat down here, and I just, I said, so I drive on a flat. I'm like, gosh about five miles an hour. I said, I pulled in here and I said, well, I hope we don't get in trouble because it's private property. I was at the fair early. I know you're my story, you got a job to do. So I'm feeling the tire and then she came walking by. I'm like, and then you came by. So I thought, oh my gosh, I hope he's, you know, if he's looking so that's what Yeah, no, no, I appreciate that. I can all right. look forward to that. All right, be safe, all right? Take Thank care. You.
All right, so anyway, he's cool. He's just got to do his job. And I'm not trying to snitch, folks. That's between God, him, and whatever. But, you know, you got to offer a little bit of help. So sometimes God puts people in a position. Oh, my God! Sir! There's a car accident! Sir! 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 There's a car accident. I just heard it. Sorry. Right down there. Make sure they're okay, family. Right around the corner. I just heard it. A bang. You hear it? All right, sir. I'm sorry. Don't run up on me like that again. I know. I, I apologize.